welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing this look for you. This super glam, crazy, big, bold eye look. Um, I am going to be going to a sporting event tonight um, in my local town here supporting the local college's team and so I thought let's go crazy. Let's like really support them with some crazy bold looks here. So um, I got inspired by an image I saw on Pinterest which I show later on in the video and so yeah if you guys want to see how I achieved this crazy glam bold look then I go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so like usual, I am just going to speed through my base because that hasn't changed and it's kind of boring to watch over and over and over. So enjoy this fun music that I have found while I speed through this process. So now that I have my base done and my eyebrows done, I'm going to go ahead and contour. Um, and I'm going to use powder today instead of the normal little uh, NYX Wonder Stick. Since I already powdered my face, can't really add powder or cream to powder. So I'm going to take Hoola Bronzer and my little, uh, let's see, Real Techniques Contouring brush here. And chisel some stuff out. So it'll also help kind of warm up my face as well because my face is looking a little one-dimensional right now with this um, mixture of foundation that I have on. Since it's more of a full coverage, it definitely just turns your face all one color. So you gotta bring back the life with some bronzing, some contouring, some blushing, stuff like that. Okay, and then I'm going to bronze using my uh, Urban Decay Baked Beach Bronzer, or what is it? Beached Bronzer, whatever, in Sunkissed. And I'm just gonna take this on a little bit bigger of a fluffier brush. It's the same type, it's just bigger. This is the Dual Fiber Face Brush. Um, just so I can lightly, I don't wanna really pack on the color, but I just wanna really lightly hit these cheeks with some bronze. All right, and then with the same brush, I am just gonna go in with my Wet n Wild color icon um, in, what is this? This is like peach something? Pearlescent pink. I always think it's a peach thing. Maybe because it's like a peachish color. I don't know, but just really lightly put this in on. Don't wanna do too much because the eyes are gonna be like the main thing, so. Okay, and then I'm gonna highlight using the um, Afterglow Highlight by Urban Decay in Sin. And I'm gonna take this on my Sephora fan brush. Pretty. Okay. <sighs> now it's time to do the eyes, and with the eyes I don't really know what I'm doing, so. That'll be exciting. I got inspired by something I found on uh, Pinterest. So I'm gonna try and pull this up here for you guys. I don't know who the original poster is or who the original person is in the thing on Pinterest, but it definitely was my inspiration. And for the event tonight, it's gonna be perfect. So I definitely got inspired by this look right here. Oh, it's all glary. Right there, you can kind of see it, but I got super inspired by this and I really want to try it. 
so we're gonna see. I don't have like the exact colors or anything in this, but I've got, I think I've got stuff that's gonna be pretty close. And I'm gonna kinda do the reversal of that where the blue is on my lid and the orange is kinda diffusing it out. So, I hope this works. Anyway, so for the blue, I'm going to be, um, cause I don't, I don't have fun colors. I don't do crazy colory things cause I just like keeping it natural cause I'm super basic, but I do have the Gwen Stefani palette and it does come with this really shimmery blue right here. So I'm going to try that out on my lid and then in the Morphe 350 palette, get this open, there's a lot of orangey kind of like warm tones right in here like this guy right here is really like orange so I'm thinking that's gonna have to work oh just got like blue in it what did I get in it oh I got black in it we'll see so anyway I'm gonna use the scotch tape method um, for keeping this nice and sharp so um, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of stick it on the back of my hand and peel it off a few times so the stick isn't too bad, doesn't pull on my um, eyes too much. Okay, all right, let's do this. So I don't wanna go in straight with the, um, with the orange, but we're gonna kinda gradually like get it into the crease. So I'm just gonna start off by taking a nice big fluffy brush, something like this guy. Um, and I'm gonna start by taking this light one right here and just putting that in the crease so you can build up. Mainly just so the transition is just really nice and soft and gradual. Okay, now that that is all nice and diffused, I'm gonna take a little bit smaller of a fluffy brush like this guy right here and I'm gonna go in with this one right here and just deepen the crease up a little bit more. All right, so with this, back to the first brush we used, I'm not gonna add any product. I'm just gonna go and help blend these two colors a little bit more. Okay, now with the main color here, I'm gonna take this brush. This is one of my favorite brushes. Um, it's like bow, got just, I don't know. Just a nice little fluffy brush and I'm gonna go in with the main orange. Lightly at first. I'm not gonna put too much product on. Nice and light. So with my MAC Prep and Prime, I'm gonna go ahead and wet a flat shader brush before I dip it in the blue. Lightly get that sprayed. And then we're dipping in to this guy right here. I'm just worried that this is gonna be too dark of a blue, but we'll find out. And I'm gonna just pat this. I am not going to sweep this. Patting will give more color payout than sweeping. Here. All the way up into the crease. And then I'm gonna blend that out later. Because my eyes are hooded, there is gonna be some transferring up there. So I wanna put it just a little bit above so that when it does transfer, it doesn't look like it looks like it's supposed to be there, basically, is what I'm trying to accomplish. There is a little bit of fallout I didn't think about kind of landing right down here. So if you're smart, you would put something to help um, with that. Gosh, this is looking so cool. Oh, I'm going to look so cool. Okay, now I'm going to take this small guy again and I'm actually going to put some of that orange on it just to help with the shading here so with the blending really lightly. Those two colors right there. Okay, so I am going to highlight 
with the um, same highlight I put on my face, Sin by Urban Decay. I'm just gonna take that on a clean, flat shader brush for the arch. And then with this, this is just kind of like a nice, um, actually this isn't clean. <coughs> just with a small, there we go, this guy. And I'm gonna put this in my inner corner, highlight right there. Oh gosh, I got dipped in the blue. Kind of smudged it around. Blue fallout down here just streaked like crazy. I don't know if you can see that. So I think that that's fairly opaque. I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyeliner. Still with the tape on because that's gonna be a really good guide for me. Um, so I'm taking my NYX liquid liner as always. I don't want to do a super thick line because I want more of like, I want it to be more about the um, eye like the shadow than the eyeliner. I'm gonna do a thin line, but a pretty thick wing. Because if I do a thin wing, that just looks odd. <laughs> All right, time to take the tape off, guys. <gasps> I'm scared. I'm scared that it like bled through or something. Ooh, it didn't. That actually looks pretty cool. Well, that looks a lot better. All right, so for the lower lash line, I'm just gonna kind of do a mixture of all the oranges here. So there's the oranges on the lower lash line and I'm actually gonna put the blue just right in the outer corner. Okay, so I'm going to do my lashes. I'm actually gonna wear fake lashes today. Uh, so I have, I got the Ardell Wispies and some Salon Perfect Adhesive. So I'm going to do, Phil, I never wear eyelashes, but for something crazy like this, I'm definitely, I think they, they need it, lashes. You need big, bold lashes to go right over top of these. I think I got them, guys. Got one side, let's try the others. Okay, these look good so far. I just need to curl my lashes into the falsies and then put some mascara just kinda help blend them in. Which, actually, I don't think I can. I should've curled them first, but oh well. <laughs> okay, they didn't pop off when I sneezed, so I guess they're on. <laughs> All right, now I'm just gonna put on some mascara onto my upper lashes, just to blend them in, and then I think we're gonna be all done, guys. I'm excited. All right, so that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy. It's something fun and different that I've never done before, and I had a lot of fun doing it, so woohoo. I am very excited to go to this uh, tailgate tonight because I mean, that's like pretty much the only appropriate place I could think of wearing this type of look. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have so much fun tonight and I hope I helped maybe some of you guys get inspired to do something like this for um, any type of party, really. And you don't have to do these colors. You can completely do other colors if you're um, maybe like a different team's fan or something like that. Just change the colors to what you would want and just have fun with it. Um, so I, uh, yeah, again, I hope you guys enjoyed. If so, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!